the fun characters, mm, like exactly. Yeah, I mean, then you have, of course, Dom. Richter. You know, this dude's got every. This dude wrote the book on Richter. It feels he like. did. He did. I feel like, from what I've seen, it's Riddles. Riddles wrote the book. Dom published it, and he has made it his own. Okay. That's how I see it. I remember watching Riddles at SmashCon a few yeah. years, yeah, like a few years back, and he definitely showed a lot with how Belmont played. But then, Dom took that to the next level. All right, so here we're getting into game number one: Chag versus T3 Dom. Did Dom learn enough about Palutena from the one game he got against Boontai fans, or you know, maybe did forcing him to switch to the Wolf kind of do a little bit of damage to Dom's chances here? Yeah, I, I think he's warmed up against Palu that he'll have a much easier time. That dash attack was so smart from Dom. But you gotta give you gotta give Chag a little bit of credit, man. He is not just any Palutena. He's oh, one, one of not. Mexico's finest Palutena mains out there. Yeah, by no means is. You know, Chag, just another Peloton. Okay, so far, Holy Water set up here, and I like that cross because it's going to cover a lot there for T3 and force Chag into that option. We can get the grab. T3 already looking a lot different than how it was from the side. I feel like he's taking the fight to Chag a lot. Yeah, he's playing a little bit more aggressive than you would see compared to Midnight where he hey, cool. Oh my god. I have my defensive options, I have the stage control, why go for anything? But this Dom, we're seeing a little bit different here. And Dom tries oh, to catch I, the roll. And I, I, I like that too, because he jumps there. Because guess what's coming next? Cross. And he can, if he jumps, convert from the cross to hit Chag off the stage. Chag knows he's jumping. Let me hit him with up smash, because that verticality is so good. Yeah, now Dom needs to be careful how he lands. Rolls past the explosive flame back onto stage. Down tilt going to force his way through. Oh, no. Chag puts himself on the ledge with that explosive flame. Dom guesses wrong there. He kind of... It, it felt like he threw everything out a bit too early, so Chag was able to wait it out. And instead of committing to throwing another projectile and giving Chag an opportunity, he just waited to try and hit back here Chag's get up. Yeah. Explosive flame and the holy water, but neither of them going a kill. Yeah. Dash from Chag. Chag threw his whole body into that. Yeah, he, oh, he knows. He's got to catch Dom now before he gets any more momentum. This is a snowball. And it's definitely closing in on Chag. Well, finally, a backer here gives Chag a little bit of a breathing space. All right, up the uh, shield. Just going to be the solid punish against the Palutena Nair. Kind of interesting that Dom opted to punish that with the back air. I feel like we saw the cross coming. Maybe we could have seen Dom go for something. Yeah. But maybe maybe Chag had just enough time to get the shield out on landing before the cross hits. That's good. Goes for the grab there, uh, specifically just because where it crosses and also the location, but also knowing Chag's only shield to try to avoid enough damage. A lot of conditioning coming out from Dom. Okay, Dom looking for a little bit of a landing here. The angled forward air pushing Chag off the stage. So I spawn the back here and not going to be able to oh. kill, but Chag answering with a dash check right now gets an opening, but not going to make anything out of it. Dom able to find his way immediately back onto the ground, fight out of it with the down tilt, and the forward tilt going to be enough to uh, enough but, to take it away. Yeah. I think for Dom, too, just knowing that, you know what, when you've got Chag back up in the corner like this, things like Forito are able to just space himself. I think it's the fact that the way that the Belmonts can operate within that whiff punish range at a safer distance goes to show how strong the can actually be. Uh, starting up frames, of course. Really good for Chag to actually catch that right before. Oh, and that was a rare miss, I feel like, for Chag. He's been looking for that air dodge, and Dom gives it to him. Not in position to actually punish it, though. Maybe he expected a neutral air dodge, or a conventional air dodge to the neutral one. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I respect that spot dodge, too, just because of how Chag was originally going to play that out. But like I said, Smash has been a really good friend for Chag. All things considered here. Look at this excellent juggling here. Stopping Dom before he can even land. Dom trying to get an out of shield play. He's forced to go for the low recovery. Barely able to get this up as yeah. he misses Tether. Dom up being, holding down so he's able to fight Chag off the ledge with the up -y. So dangerous of a landing there for Chag, but he's able to find it. I like that drift back with the photo. Oh, oh my god, he goes for cross? Man, he gets him up. 
with the axe. What a play too, because he can, like I said, he can close that distance with just the axe toss. We saw him trying to cover no that. I had no idea from... he could do that. I'm not surprised, but I'm just like, I'm both surprised, but also not surprised. Like I've seen him already try that earlier. He tried to get the axe to cover that one. And then he even tried it also against Midnight, where he like, okay, cool, where is my opponent going to drift towards away after this downer? They're going to drift away. They don't want to get comboed because they know the up could be coming or an angled aerial. But him sensing that in Chad goes, okay, you know what? With Axe, I have three distances. I can cover those distances where I cannot reach with an aerial. Yeah. Let's go for let's go for Axe, and I'll take the stop. Yeah, Dumb. I was just... That's new to me. <laughs> It just goes to show, man, in order for you to actually win against your opponents, you gotta be pulling out some of that new stuff. You can't just keep it the same. You gotta have a little bit, a lot of mix-ups. I and Chag on the ledge here. Keep know the time, it's 6.30. Can he finally get down? Okay, he is able to actually find his way in pretty quickly. It feels like with, when you're playing Dom, you gotta just look at the timer when you go to ledge and look at the timer when you finally get off ledge. <laughs> Sometimes like you a, just be on there for a good like 30 seconds. I'm not going to work. <laughs> yeah. Look at the time when you go to work, look at the time when you get out, man. Was it worth it today? You you never know. You just hope to see that earnings be really nice when you get that paycheck here. And I know Chad is looking for the paycheck because he has had a lot of momentum. He's looking to get some momentum in. All right, good pair on the second back here. Mm -hmm. I feel like Chag's had a harder time catching Dom's landing this set. Dom's been doing a good job of just mixing up, like, it, the way he drifts. He just runs in and forward throws him under the explosive flame. Start, oh, and the axe to cover that deep end. It's, the, it's not only just the combination of the axe, but also the cross forcing Chag. And then also alongside both of those two in tangent, he's got forward tilt and stage control. There's so much that Chag has to fight for in that situation. All right, explosive flame will catch the landing here. Dom reels back. Chag is looking to move from his seat into all range mode here. I can just visibly see Chag is left, showing signs of frustration here, but he knows anything, any hit I have to take to the next level. Starts off with this down throw into the back air and then looking to get that there before Dom has a chance to reel in from that recovery from the tether. Alright, dash Chag. Dom finding his way down with the down air, but bounces off because he's Chag's way for it, gets the shield on time. All right, Dom able to catch up here. Nice, jumps away from that cross. That would have been at Chag's answer here, is to chase Dom with that jump with the back air. Oh and my put God. Dom off the stage. Well, man, Dom closes things out already. Yeah, and he just knows, you know what? I haven't done this once tonight, probably. <laughs> I got, I got says, I'm just gonna run up, stand right under where you're gonna jump and up smash immediately. Chag not ready for it, gives him the jump. What a ch I have not seen down to one to be able to do that. As no, he oh gets my it! God. Man! D did you see how much he set up uh, in advance for all of that I'm, to work? I was already lost at the fact that he used down to one to confirm that way. And then immediately when he has Chag up into the air, the way that he had just... Oh, man. Alright, Dom up 2-0 now. In that first game, you know, a nail biter, clutch victory for Dom. That second game, all of his. Yeah. Yo, know, he was in full control, two stocks on the board still. It's it's coming down to like, like I said earlier, the answer for Chad there is when he saw Dom jumping after cross. Chase after him. You can get that back air, put Dom off the stage, and then immediately start to look for stage control. There's a few answers that we're seeing that Chag has just been missing. And it is his ability to chase down Dom in a lot of situations. And I feel like the way he's able to get away with it is it's that conditioning he's put Chag into of being afraid to jump. We saw that in Midnight, and we see that happening to Chag here. Yeah, I mean, Every stock just felt like Dom had, it, they were all hard reads where Dom said, you are going to do this. And Chad said, yeah, okay, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. And, and, and initially it is, but just Dom knows what the idea is going to be and he can cover that. For Chad here, he's doing an excellent job. Don't panic, wait for that commitment and then go for that jump. He's already made a, a lot of commitment with those projectiles. He can use that time to get back on the stage. All right, down throw into the back here and that's not something we see from Palu a lot. Uh, there were some changes to her that made that just not work, but Dom gave him the DI in, and you can definitely down throw back here on inward DI. 
that angle back of her dom was well played just because the first thing Chag is going to be doing is jumping away. Oh, that's a rough angle to make the recovery here, but Dom has such an excellent tether with the Belmont's Linear at the ledge, stopping Chag immediately from any kind of recovery. Right. Matt Nair, Matt Nair, we've seen Dom confirm off that Nair from the ledge before here. That's good from Chag. He takes the time, catch this man in the end lag, but also in the middle of the setups. All right, side B into the forward air. That's just some easy damage. And how does Chad get off the platform or off the ledge? The answer is he does not that time. Back again on the ledge, gets up into the holy water. You just got to stop giving him these neutral grips. And I feel like that time it actually was a jump. Yeah. But the holy water is still just there. It's the verticality of the way that holy water can catch you is something you have to respect too. There was we saw that also in how midnight wanted to had to respect that as well. Okay. Chag is looking. Chag is looking to finally try to get in here, but he's having a tough time here. That up, he's stopping Chag from this, any momentum. I like that. Changes any opportunities for go for a low recovery, and immediately comes back there with a teleport. Oh. I this is not enough space. I, one more for Dom here. I hear it from the crowd, too. Yeah, Chag taking some time in that Angel platform. We have been seeing Chag having a lot of frustrating moments here against Dom. Able to catch that landing yet again. What that bridge deletes the stock. Yeah. No sparks or anything, 100%. He's just up there. There was the right answer there. Early, early use of the holy water. You can actually roll through it here and check able to get around. Explosive flame up there. This is an opportunity here to juggle a oh, nice. And he looks to put him back off the stage. Catches the downer into another back air. Chad finally with an excellent play that he has been looking for so far the past few games. Yeah, we've seen Dom landing with the downer quite aggressively several times. Even you know, no fear. Even though he's lost two stocks pretty early to the up air from Palutena. He's still finding his way down with the up air, or with the down air. A lot of times I feel like he definitely could have gone for down air there. It actually may have been close enough to spike, and maybe that's why Dom didn't do it. <laughs> Dom burns his jump, fights his way down with the down air, and that's what I was talking about. Dom had no fear of that happening to him. And Chag eventually, Chad catches on. Yeah, and Chad knows, you know what, the, like I said, look at the weakness of the character. Belmonts do not have such a great recovery plan. They may have an excellent tether, but they are forced to go for anything, any, like an option like what, Fastfall Nair, Directional Air Dodge, and Downer. Those are all things Palutena can easily punish with her up air, and I think Chad finally getting a, the breather he's been looking for all set long, and he's able to take a game over Dom because he has been looking frustrated. Oh, absolutely. But the thing is also, we're seeing Dom burn his jump out of hit stun quite often. Yeah. And that's not what you do again. want to do every time against Bell. Like, you obviously have to mix up what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Dom lost his stock several times for double jumping and Chad just reading it and going up there with the up. Uh, yeah. And it was, you could see it a lot from Dom, too. And I think that's what Chad also has to catch Dom in the middle of, too, his jumps and, his, and the starting frames of a lot of those projectiles. Some of them are not so graceful here. We're going to be going to town and city, man. This is good for Chag to just continuously juggle bomb for 65% at the end. All right, Dash Jack just forces Dom off stage. Air Dodge is away, actually too far, so he's off stage, but still able to make it back on with the recovery. Back here, gonna force Chag off stage once again, and I feel like it's just on rinse and repeat here for Dom. That's a rough thing to happen because that reflect was warranted, but he probably would have wanted to get the other actual counter and not the, the reflect. The craziest part is every time I've seen Palu reflect something across this and the previous set, Dom was just in position to kill them immediately for throwing it out. Yeah, and unfortunately, like the reflect only comes in the direction Palu is facing. I mean, you're not reflecting that whip. Yeah, most definitely not. That's a physical hit right there. Dom with a stock lead here, but that explosive flame will catch Dom trying to roll a little bit too much. Nice neutral errors. I like that from Dom, though. He's not panicking. He knows I'm getting juggled. I made the mistake. Don't panic. Save my jump and look for a way to come back as soon as possible. Yep, I made the mistake. I have to accept the consequences, and sometimes the consequences are 73%. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be more if you try and fight your way out of it. Exactly. You ever try and argue 
with your mom about punishment? No, I know I'm both. <laughs> no, no. I, yeah. As a Latino yeah, you're person, just gonna make it you, worse. yeah, you're just going to make it worse. Like, just take it. You just accept, all right, yep, I'll take my Xbox for the week. Like, I'll, I'll get it back next week. I'm not going to. Exactly. You I'm not going to try and talk you down in three days. That's why it ends up in two <laughs> weeks. Like. We know. We know. All right, well, there's a lot of punishment here from Dom to take, because, you know, Chag does not want to go out without a fight. Is he able to get one game on the board here? Can he put a game five? Oh, my God, and Dom just out there. All right, Chag, a little bit of a breather. I like that. Take some yeah. time in the Angel platform. Calm yourself down here. There's a lot of fluster feelings you're getting here. Your, men your mental state as a player is important, and you can't just give that away easily, especially when you're taking a lot. Okay, and the back are going to even it out once again. I mean, we're, we're used to seeing Dom have a lot going for him, and then he gets the stock, and Chag plays it really well as soon as he's able to regain stage control while invincible. Because I feel like this game is just a lot of... Chag wins neutral a couple times in center stage, Dom wins neutral once, and then Chag's just on the ledge for three minutes. Yeah. And, you know, every time we're seeing Chag actually make his way back to stage, Dom mess up an edge trap or something like that. Uh, Chag's immediately trying to fight Dom. Instead of just going to the other side of the stage and Dom's, you know, ready for the burst option, able to get like an up BR shield or some sort of punish on that. Mm -hmm. And force him back into the corner anyways. Oh, what a catch Wait, there. this could Dom. be it. The air dodge. The air dodge. Dom committed. Needs Dom one committed. more, but air dodge just through that one. What's the, what's the axe doing there? Okay, I like that. Goes for that. So you saw him go for forest smash just because he tried to land towards the ledge after he had been juggled so much. You have to give Chad that respect. He had that covered originally. All right, throws him off stage. There's the holy water. Chad, can you put this game five here? The, the teleport to get back on the stage. No, and the, and jump. the jump to the commitment because the cross was out there. Dom, Dom had like a hundred percent hit rate on that up smash. He the did, only he time did. it ever <laughs> came out, it worked, and it, and that's why the hit rate's so high is because he just never threw it out. Yeah, unless he was a hundred percent sure it was coming. Because if.